all recruiting. And you build your own know, three by seven matrix yourself. You will not lose anything in Vitale. You will not lose anything in Vitale. <laughs> you don't lose a dime. But guess what you do? You actually gain momentum. Why? Let me share with you. If you enroll three people, then you have them get three, even if you have to move. One person on each person of your front line, five or front line six. You're three under, three, four, other three. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to be pressing down. And when they do the same, when they got that, that, that front line three field out, the next person they recruit, they push down underneath them. Then they push down underneath them. That's going to be happening to complete your three by seven matrix. And let me tell you something that's very powerful. When you get it, the uh, level silver, three and three, that's 120 people on your team. Just with by social alone, just with by social alone, and if that's the name of the VBE, you look, you're looking at a thousand dollars in residual income every single month with 120 people on your team. Now, let me tell you the dynamics. You're a recruiter, so you're not worried about recruiting people, right? That's your selfish mode. That's your selfish hat that you have on. Remember earlier I was going to talk to you about character. Do you really want to help somebody else? Let me show you the power of what I just told you. Let me show you and share with you how to complain instead of, well, you're going to lose money, but you can help somebody else make more money. You don't make the same amount of residual income, but guess what's going to happen? If you move Bob, Sue, and Sally underneath those front line three, guess what's going to happen? You just gave them a $7 raise every month. Now, because you gave them a $7 raise every month, don't you think that they would like you just a little bit more than what they like you right now? Don't you think if you gave them a $7 raise, don't you think that they would work harder at promoting their own business online, offline, telling their friends and family about, hey, guess what? My residual income is a thousand dollars right now. Hey, guess what, mommy? I didn't do all the work. My offline team leader helped me build my business. And it just was a lip service. They just didn't say, oh, come and go to training and then that's how we're gonna help you build your business. Mommy, they literally put a person underneath me, mommy. I'm so happy right now. This is called multi-level marketing. Multi-level marketing. I know this is more than one level. That good doesn't have to do me to have somebody put on to me. They never recruited anyone. They don't have any customers. But they're still paying that $100 a month. I need to bless them. I need to move them underneath somebody else. I move somebody else underneath them. I need to create some energy. I need to create some excitement in my organization. I need to put on some contest and say, hey, I'm running a contest. I just recruited two new people this month. In the first person that recruits two people, I'm moving one underneath them. I just recruited three more people than the first person that get uh, their major skills got down to the third level. I'm going to put two people on and meet those people. So ladies and gentlemen, you have something in your hands right now that you have not been taking advantage of. And I say to you, I apologize again for getting off track. I got off track. I lost focus. Because I was looking at the right now money. I did not join Vitale for the right now money. I joined Vitale for the long term $22,000 a month residual income. That's what I did. I repeated it <laughs> and I decided to come back home. I want you all to come back home with me. I want you all to come back home with Brandon and Abby. I want you all to come back home with Power King Murphy. I want you all to come back home with Lewis I want you all to come back home with Chris McCoy. I want you all to come back home to where you belong. Because you're joining this company for residual income. And if you're not promoting residual income, you are not in him in You are not in this market. You're in direct freaking sales. And I don't like that with sales anymore. <laughs> this is a residual income model. That's why it's called multi-level marketing. And what is the definition of multi-level marketing? The definition of multi-level marketing is this. It is if I can bring, this is the power of the 
money. If somebody else is popping, they're going to be with me just for a little bit longer. They're going to be with the company just for a little bit longer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Dr. Michael Smith Studio. I'm sorry for going over, but I wanted to share with you where we're going, where we are, because we lost track. I want you to know we're getting back to who we were because that is who we are. The reason we're called power team market is because we have the power. We all make up the team and we all market our business. Are you following me? I have the power because of my team and I market my business. If I am not marketing my business with a sense of magic, I am not going to be able to attract people to me. And Brandon was exactly right. We attracted people to us more than a year ago because we had a simple message. Get three, get three. And when you get those three, you got a free, you got a FCB. And you got free by social and free BBN. And you're not paying for anything. You're just going to the bank, ladies and gentlemen. And your goal is to stick with the three, get in three. Not for three months, not for six, not not for a year. We want a two year plus commitment to the program. Why? The numbers don't lie. You know Dyke is not going anywhere. We can bet this one. They're not going to pour millions and millions of dollars and then wake up one day and say, okay, well, all right, let's get Dyke to the curb. It's not going to happen. It's not happening. Okay? It is not happening. So we're not going anywhere. We're going to be here. But the question is, well, you have a character to stay and help somebody else. Hey, that's all I have to say for you all. Motivation. Let's remember tomorrow night. At 9 p.m., we got something going on for you tomorrow night. We want you to show up for some real training that Mr. Ivan is going to be laying out to us. We want you to get this message out to your team. Get this message out to your group. Get this message out to the people that you know that need this. I want you to reach out to those people that were intrigued in right here in the beginning. Go back to them and say, hey, man, I knew you signed up with me. Hey, girl, I knew you signed up with me. We had those monthly qualifications before, right? Guess what? You don't have to pay a monthly fee anymore. All you have to do is continue to teach your by social. Hey, get your busy in and you're straight. You won't have a monthly auto shift any longer. And we can even show you how to get that for free. It's time to crank up the volume and be who we really are. Mr. Abby, if you're still there, do you have any last thoughts, sir? If not, I'll just go ahead and end the call, but if you do, go ahead. I got a couple of things. I, 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 as I told you guys at the beginning, <laughs> Dr. Smith, very passionate and excited about what he does, and he has something to say. And today is day two of our relaunch from last night, keeping the message simple, going back to the basics. That's all we're doing here. We're going back to the basics. We, we want to share the vision and the dream with everybody. Remember why you're here. Financial freedom. You don't need to know all of the stuff. You don't need to know how energy works. How the, now it took me four months before I understood the compensation plan, and I already made more than $10,000. It wasn't a, request, a requisite of me making money. All I knew was one thing. I'm going to make $7 per person, seven levels deep. All I have to do is re recruit three people and teach them how to do the same thing. That's it. That's all I need to know. I don't, I don't want to know anything else. It confuses me. You learn more as you go. So we're going back to that basics, and we put out a challenge last night. We had over 100 people. The challenge was that every single person enrolls three people by the end of the month, where do you think you're going to be? especially as a team. That's the challenge. Wednesday is the last day of the month. Hey, hey Brandon, let me say something about that when you get done. I want to say something about what you just said. I forgot to say it when I was talking, but go ahead. Say that right now because i got a special guest I'm going to bring on right after me as well. There's a surprise. Oh, okay. Right well, what, what, what Brandon was talking about, ladies and gentlemen, looking at the simplicity, if you get three, you just have to get three, okay? Have them get free. Now, you, you, we're not giving away charity. They got to go to work. They got to put their head down. They got to recruit one or two people. But even if you move somebody on and meet them, watch this. When you get down to your, your fourth level with three getting three, let's say you do three in your first two weeks. Let's give you 
you two weeks to get three to get those three. So that's only that's only twelve people that said two weeks. You got your three, you got those three get three, right? That's that in two weeks you got twelve people in your group. Then you go another two weeks. I'm not gonna even count a whole month. A whole month. And you just have those nine get three. Ladies and gentlemen, that's 39 people in your organization in three weeks. That's not even a full month. You're at, over, you're at uh, almost $300 in residual income. The numbers don't lie. Work in the system like that will bear it out. You're not looking at what you're going to get paid in month one, in month two. You're looking at me pushing off this three by seven matrix. I need to push it. My goal is to push it to my fifth level. Well, I have 363 people in my team. I'm over 2,500 of the residual income. A lot of us have recruited 56 to over 100 people. We can feel on a first coach on a first level by ourselves. You see how powerful it is? And we were too greedy. I'm a big friend. I was too greedy in the beginning. I was so greedy. We can feel the first three levels by ourselves and have them all in the fifth level. It's doable, and imagine somebody pushing down from that. Then it's so powerful. When I have multiple, when I was talking to uh, the uh, SVP, they talked about my excitement. I can imagine us being able to stand up at our conference next month and say, hey, the average person in Bytel, the projected over the next couple of months is going to be averaging $200 to $500 in residual income. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? They didn't recruit all those people themselves. That's powerful. I'm going to bring them back to <laughs> like I said, you can't say anything other than the man is excited, he knows what he's talking about, he's the numbers guy, and he understands the simplicity, the simplicity of our message. We don't want to get lost in, in all the hype and the hoopla and all the distractions that's taken place in the industry with other fly-by-night opportunity that's coming around. So if we keep our head down, Stay focused. Remember, remember the steps. You sign up at the Platinum or Diamond. You get on the buy social and the VPN yourself. You enroll three people in the business and you duplicate. That is it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. I like what Keith Williams said. You know, we got to make up some shirts that says, I did my part. So if each of us do our own part as a whole, we get to where we need to be. If one person falls off, that messes it up for everybody. So that's one thing you have full control on. You have full control on making sure you have the vice social and the VBN. That is not an option. I didn't say go out there and sell 100 of them. I said, first, make sure you have it yourself. When you refer three people in the visit, it's gonna pay for itself. And then duplicate. Tomorrow night at, oh, uh, what time did I say, the nine or 10? Uh, I'll look at the schedule again, because we're doing it new. But yeah. tomorrow night, just like last Monday, we have our advanced training. And our advanced training is going to be keep it simple, stupid. We're going to go over in detail the three-way calls. If you're not doing any three-way calls, you're not making any money. Because that means you're not exposing anybody to the business. You can't say, I'm going to sign up five people to the business, and you don't have any three-way calls, and you're not talking to anybody. The challenge is for all of us to start getting back on the phone, start talking to people. And I know I, I've been hearing this all the last couple of weeks. I need to wait till Vitale gets its act together. The back office isn't showing properly. How can I find somebody up my own? don't even know what I'm getting paid? All of that is coming to an end. You'll now have the confidence to go ahead and build your business and make yourself some money. If you want to have a good residual check, I'm not talking about August 15th. I'm talking about September 15th. That depends on what you do between now and the end of the month. Now, we have a special guest that hopped on the line tonight that might want to say just a few words to all of you. And he is none other than the CEO of Vitel, the owner himself, Mr. Scott Rogers. Scott, are you there? Good evening, Brandon. Hey, the floor is yours, sir. Hey, I appreciate it. Well, it's a, it's a wonderful Sunday evening. Getting ready to close out the month uh, this week. And, man, Michael, you have entered uh, at the end of the day on a Sunday after closing a whole week out with that kind of energy. I hate to see you on a Monday morning when you've refreshed. That's you're on fire. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, 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 it's... it's um, 
reason why I can't, well, Brandon and I were talking earlier a couple times today, and, you know, we just, we, we go back and forth sometimes. I talk to Chris, and I talk to Michael, talk to various uh, people within our business. And, uh, I, you know, I think it's important that sometimes you get to hear from not only the, 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 the leaders in the field, but the corporate staff. And it doesn't always have to be scheduled or planned or you know, an important major call. I just need to show my face and just let you know that I care and I'm here. Um, but, but outside of that, you know, we are 90 days away from going into our third year. Most companies, I don't know if you know this, but 80% of companies fail in the first year. Um, 1,000 companies per year launch, and 800 of them go out of business before they're even 12 months old. We are launching our third year. And I'll tell you that the first year, I wanted to quit every day, but I never quit. Second year, I wanted to quit every other day. I never quit. We're going into the third year, I want to quit every once a week. I don't quit. Why do I say that? And why is that a reality coming from me? Because it's no different. It's a struggle. You're trying to build a business. You stay committed because one thing, I have responsibility to others and myself to succeed and to help others succeed. When I took on this commitment, I didn't take it lightly. So many people join a business and they don't, they don't stick with it or they, 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 they get convoluted in the details or they get um, complacent. But they don't realize that they have to make an effort or, or, or create a system and really work on themselves to go out and get, give that extra effort after a hard day's work. Remember, you're doing this so you don't have to go to work. So you have to put that extra bit of effort in each day. If you're not making a three-way call at night with your upline with a new prospect, you're doing less than the bare minimum. It's crucial to your success. What we've done now, the final round of changes for this year and enhancements and, and, and additions to the comp plan, um, like Brandon said as he was closing out, they're coming to an end. A lot of them are already updated in the back office and they're updating daily and nightly, uh, especially in the mornings when we run the, the uh, calculations each morning. But there's one thing that when I first started this business that rang so true. And, and I know that we're not like every other company. And not every, and we can't do everything that every other company does, and they can't do everything that we've done. But I can assure you of one thing. I've watched stories of companies building and starting from a container, from a container ship. You know where we started from? We started from the back offices of a cell phone store that I owned. We had multiple cell phone stores, and we, we set up shop in, the, in, in one of the offices. We were in a strip mall. We had an office. We were in a real business, but that's where we started. And before you knew it, we were in a corporate office. We had corporate officers. We had a board. We had partners. We, we had an equity investment fund. Before you knew it, we owned our own software. We started developing our own products. We evolved. Not only does a company evolve, individuals evolve. I mean, the only way you evolve is when you stick with something and you, and, you, and you stay the course of the commitment that you made to yourself and the people that joined you in what you believed in. So when you abandon somebody or you don't stay the course or keep your commitment, what does that show them? It teaches them that it's just as easy for them to do the same thing. But all too often you hear that story about that one that quit and the person that believed in them went ahead and stayed the course and then goes on to make a lot of money. I'm sure a lot of the leaders and a lot of uh, you can relate to that. But it happens all too often. My father sold his Microsoft stock six months before he would have quadrupled it. I have many friends that have had many opportunities like that. I have a friend that I was in Florida with that had the opportunity to buy Facebook stock one time, one time only. It was private stock at the time. He invested in none other than oil change franchises instead. How? The big start difference? Because he stayed within his comfort zone because he knew it was a 
brick and mortar business and Facebook was social media, he thought it was a fad. But boy, he was wrong. He had the opportunity to buy private stock. No, he took his money and invested in oil cha- in, in, into franchises for oil chains. Hey, great business model. Oil chains are great. We all have to have them. We get them all the time. All the thing is, I keep making cars better because my car only requires one once a year. Once a year. Just so you see, every 3,000 miles. I, I own two cars, both of them, once a year. Got to love it. And I don't even have to pay for it, so I don't have to go to a store like that. There's a perfect example. But social media is just one of the main components that, uh, that and as we've all seen it, grow to a multi-billion dollar industry. And so we've embraced that. We've embraced many other uh, things as well. And what's important for me to, to, to really mention tonight outside of that is Brandon made a comment about keeping it simple and, and going back to the basics. See, when Vitel was growing, it, uh, leaps and bounds, and I mean we were taken off to the races, we made strategic decisions, and we're business people and we're human. We don't always make the right decisions. We made the decisions to make sure that we were 100% compliant. We forego growth to make sure that we could sleep at night and ensure that we protected your income, meaning we didn't have to worry about regulators coming, knocking on our door. When we made those changes, it, it, it gave us a few bumps in the road and we had to figure our way through it. And it took us a little while. So now, with the way that we've designed the business, we can get back to that old message without having to worry about that issue. Why? Because we put in place no auto ship. When there's no auto ship, it opens the doors for a lot of things. And you know what no auto ship opens the doors for? Not only do you still have major, the same seven by seven simple compensation plan, but now you simply refer somebody and, they, and you earn. You refer them, you earn. You refer 12 people on the dining level, each three in a week, each week per month, you make five grand. Well, knowing that the average income in the United States is under 40,000, if you were, if you found 12 people a month, you would make more than the average income in something that you spend an hour a week doing. Actually, you could just quit your job. Better yet, it's that simple. And the reason why it goes back to the number 12 is because three each week is 950 bucks. Plus the volume that you're going to receive, you're going to receive your Freedom Club and it totals over 5,000 bucks. So you get back to the basics. What is the, what are you here for? You're here to retire, make a difference in your own financial situation, pay off some debt, take a vacation, prove somebody wrong, do it for yourself, buy yourself a new car, whatever your reason is, all you have to do is literally go find a few people that have the same desires and goals. Well, I know that I have never met someone that had enough money. So, I doubt that you have as well. So if you've never met anybody, or even if you have one person in your life that says, oh, I don't need any more money, I just care less. I'll just spin it off. Outside of that one person that you've ever met, if in fact you have, every single person would appreciate the opportunity to make more money. If you know a few people, you teach them to do the same thing. If you know a few people, hey, you join this company, you spend as much money, you get some awesome products, and when you when you get them to do the same thing, we all make a bunch of money. It's that simple. There's nothing more to it. But now we've added a lot of value and a lot of real products, and we have really came a long way. We went backwards while we went forwards. We forgoed the growth to get ourselves positioned for a major, major, major substantial improvement in direct effect into everybody's pocketbook. No other company that I know of at our price points will pay you the amount of money that Vitel will pay you. All I gotta do is go into my phone book and start dialing for dollars. You find three people.
people this week, you make a thousand bucks almost. And you keep doing that each week. Three people. Okay. Well, I don't have three or four hundred bucks. Well, guess what? Many, many people do. If they don't have three or four hundred bucks, okay, great. You got a couple hundred bucks? Well, I can make six hundred a week. But that's all the message is. There's nothing else. Go find three people. Ask those three people if they know three people. If they know three people, tell them they can make twenty four hundred bucks a month or five thousand just for knowing six or twelve I mean twelve people a month that have two or four hundred bucks. That's the what that's all it takes. That's it. Well find I know you each and every person on this call knows twelve people that have four hundred dollars. Make five grand. If you don't know twelve people that have four hundred dollars in your life then maybe you know 12 people that have $200. You make 2400 bucks. But 2400 bucks today, this month, each week, getting paid it, broken down in your in your four weeks, would that make a difference in your life if I if, if I tell pay you $400 or $600 a week? Minimum. Each week, just for you calling up three people and asking them if they have $200, and then say, well, I don't want to spend $200. Well, you know three people that have $200? And they say, yes, well, you spend 200 you get 600 And you get an awesome product. And actually, it, it, that, I'll just say it, it's a badass product. And why is it a, that awesome? It is very simple. It has a meeting component that there is a couple hundred million dollar companies out there that charge more, by far more, than what that one component's value is. You know how many small businesses use a meeting platform? Do you know how many small businesses use Facebook? I guess you see where I'm going. It's a no-brainer. There's no questions. You just have to start with putting one foot outside of the comfort zone circle that we all are too familiar with. We get complacent and we start doing the same things and repeating the same steps. If you do the same things and you repeat the same steps, you're going to walk the same path and you're going to get the same thing you always got. So if you're happy with what you got, keep doing exactly what you do. But if you want to make some money, we simplify it. It's the last, last significant changes that are no changes the rest of the year that were slated. And it was slated so we could get back to the simple message that, that put us on the map, but at the same time, Eliminating auto ship, so we don't have, to, so nobody has to worry about keeping their downline intact or people engaged next month because they don't want to pay their auto ship. We eliminated that hurdle, and we, while we've reduced the monthly cost, raised the upfront money, we've managed to do what? Eliminate the auto ship, add more upfront money, add more products, and simplify the message. You have all the proper tools now. As I mentioned about that one company that started with a container. There's another company that did $20 million before it had a back office. Then there's a third company that did $15 million before it ever had a customer service center. Yeah, we don't write at home and say that we have we have it all figured out and we're the best at all those, those categories, but I'll tell you one thing. When we hit $2 million, you had a back office. And $2 million, you had a corporate office. At $2 million in revenues, not only did you have a back office, a corporate office, you had a bunch of awesome leaders that were walking off their jobs just off of that first rent. Oh, and did I add? A couple million dollars in revenue, we had our own products too. We are leap years, light years ahead of so many companies that start and aspire to get to where we've gone and to where some big, big, major companies have gone. We aspire to be the big, big, major companies, but we can only do it with your help. So, if, like I said, like I said it very simply, and, and Michael gave you the energy, he's fired up. Brandon, he's, like you said, the relaunch, day two of the relaunch, simplifying the message. We're getting back to the basics. Simplifying it, simply go find three people that have 200 bucks you make 600. Go find three people that have 400 bucks, you make 950 bucks. That's all you gotta do. And how do you
you sell somebody on that? How do you get somebody engaged in that? We'll worry about the products later because they're going to get them in the mail. They're going to get their, their logins and they'll get to see the products. We'll focus on the products. The products are very important. And they'll see the products and they'll see the value in them. But let's first show them how to make money by literally referring people. They get the products, they start to use them, they like them. We've simplified the products, we're simplifying them even more so. We've, we've eliminated one, one of the Achilles heels, the, the, one of the products that we just had a lot of difficulties and troubles with. And you know what? We're committed to making tough decisions like that one was. It was a very tough decision because you know that you're going to upset a few and make a lot of others happy or upset a lot and make a few happy. You know that as a business owner and a person like, or especially like in my shoes, I have to think about every single person that I'm going to affect when I make a decision. But not only do I have to do that, I have to also think about how it's going to affect the company. And that's a push pull because, of course, I would wish I could just spend, spend millions and millions and millions of dollars paying people and, and not have to worry about the company making money. But then I have to do both so the company can make money so they can pay millions of dollars. So there's a, there's a hard balance. And I, I know that that's not important to you. But it is when you know that you have people like myself that are willing to make tough decisions even though it's not always going to make everybody happy. And that was the decision we made when we removed the Wi-Fi. It was for a positive reason. The pin and top up system. You know, we rebuilt it and added international products and it was and it was starting to really gain some traction. And then lo and behold, we have some scumbag somewhere in the U.S. that wants to go and steal some people's credit cards and use them on our site. Well, luckily we have SSL certificates. We have, we're 128 bit nifted. So our site's never been hacked. Our system's never been compromised. But you can't control somebody that goes into the into somebody's mailbox and steals, their, and steals people's credit cards and then goes and uses them on various websites. You can't stop that on the, in, on the initially. So what we've done is, is we spent now upwards of $10,000 installing some software and some, and some safeguards in place so that we don't have to, to do something like turn a system off. Well, that may frustrate you and might frustrate people because it makes us look like we've made a mistake and we don't know what we're doing. No, it's that we care about the person whose mailbox that credit card was getting stolen off of, stolen out of. We don't want it to continue happening just so that you can go pay one cell phone bill. Although that cell phone bill is very important as you as a customer or your customer's cell phone bill in your paycheck, but quite frankly, the person that's losing a thousand dollars in one day off of one stolen credit card, I may not know them from Adam, but I have a a duty and a moral duty to do what I did. So I stand behind the decision. I, I apologize if it slowed your growth. If you don't understand it, I can't explain everything and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with everybody. But I can assure you of one thing. I'll leave you with this. I'm a man of integrity, and I mean what I say. I do not worry about lining my pocketbook before I line others. I know that in due time I will make mine. I put the company and others way before I ever put myself, and I'll continue to do so. Because I believe in you, and I believe in the staff, and I believe in the company, and I believe in our message. So I'll continue to do that, and I'll continue to follow through with my commitment that I've made each and every one of you. I won't quit on you. Will you? Thank you, Brandon. Thank you very much, Scott. And as you guys know, we, you just never know when we have a surprise guest that, that hops on the line. And so that you can hear what's going on from the corporate side and uh, what we have to do on our end to even make this a better company. And what we know what we have to do. That is, now we need to get up off the couch. Let's close this month out strong. Like we said last night in the training, we want to make sure that all of you have the greatest Christmas that you've ever had. 
a lot of you had the greatest Christmas last year that you've ever had. So now it's time for the rest of you to experience that as well. And it doesn't take much. You guys remember the Keep It Simple Stupid video I played last night? What the woman said? She said, I had a simple message, and all it took was a few people, and we, we made something very powerful. We have a simple message here. All it takes is a few new people. Nobody has heard of Vitel. Don't think that because of the 200 or 300 friends on Facebook you have that have already heard about it, that everybody's heard of Vitel. Nobody has heard of Vitel. But it's up to you to go out there and start talking to new people. Get away from the old people. It's not about convincing the old people. But show the vision to the new people. I have a couple of new people about to come on board that are utterly amazed at what Vitel has to offer and is wondering why they haven't heard about it yet. Now it's up to us to make that happen. So that's a commitment. We're going to hold each other accountable. So with that, guys, you know the schedule where we have tomorrow. I know the Comic Club is doing things uh, tomorrow, especially, I think it's Chanel Renee at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. She's having her lunchtime presentation on liveonedream.info. I know Lance McGraw has a couple of things in the afternoon uh, for Power Team Marketing at, uh, oh, man, I can't believe this. It's the 9 or 10 o'clock. i got to look at the schedule. But we're doing a... A, uh, our advanced training, keep it simple, stupid training tomorrow night. You definitely want to be on it. I want to see more people there than we had this past Saturday night. We got over 100 this past Saturday. So we want to have even more tomorrow and end this month out strong. We have nobody at this point to blame but ourselves. There's no more fingers to point at anybody. It's time for us to take action. So let's go make it happen, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Smith, for doing a powerful call tonight. Scott Rogers for hopping on our team call. And everybody else for participating. You all are superstars and rock stars. So we'll see you at the beaches of the world. My name is Brandon Ivey. See you all tomorrow. God bless. Good night. Bye-bye.